loved and missed by all. The message this lunchtime from the family of Mitzi Rosanna Steady, the little girl killed last night by a tipper truck. First thing this morning, the lorry which struck her was removed from the crash scene. Police believe the 32-ton truck was out of control as it came crashing down a steep hill, hitting pedestrians and vehicles. And we are remembering them in our prayers. Just down the hill, they came to remember their young friend today. It's understood four-year-old Mitzi was crossing the road with her grandma when she was killed. Many in the congregation know the family. We are a community, each, each and every one of us, we're all out, we're, we're all devastated, especially the child. This didn't seem real, it's like a nightmare, I mean all night I was like looking out the window because you could just see all the blue lights flashing and people moving about and I think it's going to affect the school really badly with the little ones. I think it's just to comfort each other, isn't it? Console each other when something awful happens right on your doorstep like that. It, it, it's about supporting, I suppose, and holding each other up and, and carrying each other through such a terrible, terrible time. The lorry crashed right outside a primary school, just as pupils were heading home from lessons. Mitzi's grandmother was critically injured and three men from South Wales were also killed when their car was hit. They were aged 34, 52 and 59. Witnesses say the lorry driver sounded his horn repeatedly as he came down the hill before crashing and spilling tons of aggregate. The police believe he was trying to warn people of the danger, trying to avert an accident. The driver was spoken to just for a, a few questions, but obviously he's still in hospital. So when he's fit and able to, um, I'm sure it'll be further questions about exactly what happened. Friends have been signing messages of remembrance for Mitzi and the other victims. Some of them witnessed the crash and will now be offered specialist counselling as they come to terms with what has happened.